Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about scheduled tasks in Linux systems. Scheduled tasks refer to automated processes that are scheduled to run at specified times or intervals. These tasks are commonly used for system maintenance, backups, updates, and other repetitive or time-sensitive tasks. First method to create a scheduled task is System D. First, we have to create a timer to let the system know when it will run the script. I will show you how to do that. CD etc system D system. Enter. This is the directory which we are going to create our system D scripts. We will need administration rights, so type sudo vim. This is a text editor. Then type a name my service dot timer. Your timer and service name must be the same because the system doesn't know which timer is for which service. Kali. This timer must contain these options, unit, timer, and install. An example of a timer is as follows. Description is example timer. When we talk about the timer part, this timer will activate our service in 5 minutes after the server boot. Then, if the computer is still active, it will be reactivated in every 3 hours after it was last activated. At this point, I want to show you the manual page of the timer. But first, let's save this file. Press escape, colon, w, q. w for write, q to exit. Type man, systemd.timer. When we go forward, there are some settings in here, on ActiveSec, on BootSec, etc. If you have a question, you can search in this page. Also, we have on calendar setting. We can replace our current timer settings with a specific calendar time. Press Q. Let's open the timer file again. I will delete these lines and type on calendar equal star dash star dash star eight zero 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 this will run the script in every day of a month and every month of a year simply every day at eight o'clock and the first star means the year and the second star means the month and the third star means the day if you put a star in here this means every year, every month, every day. If you put a specific year in here, it will be enabled on that year. And the last part is very common in every timer file. Don't change it. I will save this with column WQ. And now we have to create a script to run. Type sudo vim my script dot sh. Press escape I at the same time to be able to write into that file. And you must include this shebang line. And I will basically type echo I love cyber sec. Semicolon. Escape WQ. I forgot, but you must run this command to make script file executable. Now it's time to create a service. Type sudo vim my service that service remember the name must be the same with the timer i will paste it the description is service of mine exec start this specifies the script's full path you have to specify the full path and here i've added an extra setting i wanted to direct the output to a file to know the script word precisely by the way our script could have been anywhere it doesn't have to be in this directory. And in the last part, wanted by equal multi-user target, we wanted to run the script on every user session. Escape WQ. Now type sudo system control daemon reload. This command is used to notify systemd about changes made to its configuration files and service unit files. sudo system control start my service .timer. This command will activate the timer now, but it doesn't mean the script will run right now. Enter. In the background, I changed the on calendar time 
from 8 o'clock to 10 past 8 o'clock to catch up the timer. So it says you have to reload the daemon. Let's reload. Now the last command is sudo system control enable my service dot timer. By enabling the timer, system level included in the list of timers to be started during system startup. Enter. We can check if we set everything correctly. Now the time is 8 past 8 and we are going to wait 2 minutes. Let's look inside. I love CyberSec. It worked as expected. Extra useful commands are sudo system control status my service that service. This command will show you the status of your service. If there is any error or it worked as expected, etc. Q. If you want to run the service directly without dealing any timers, you can type sudo system control start my service dot service this command runs the service immediately another way to generate scheduled tasks is cron jobs sudo cron tab dash h this is a basic usage page let's type sudo cron tab dash e edit users cron tab Select an editor. I use Vim. I will type 2. Go to below and press Escape I at the same time to insert in the file. And specify a time range in here. Star space star space star space star space. I will explain that later. Then specify the script to run. Slash blah slash blah. On the right. There is a chart for the time. Left value specifies minute and after that hour, day of month, month, day of the week. For example, full of stars means run the script in every minute. Or if we type star, star. This means this script will be executed in every two hours. Or 0, 16, star, star. This means that the script will be executed in every 16th of a month at 0 o'clock. You should practice them further. This video is over. See you on another video.